Hey, what's up, guys? Barry Robinson here, 8 Million Styles Boxing for Dynamic Striking. Here's another one of my favorite knockdowns. And again, it's a subplot film study because, you know, sometimes we study and we, you know, maybe you study the totality of a fight, but then there's so many things going on that, you know, I like to say subplots because they're different scenarios you can pick up on. But anyway, uh, one of my favorite systems, anybody that watched, I uh, think, you know, maybe some of my work with uh, Lawrence Acoli, the WBA Cruiserweight champion, you probably heard me say Marquez, you know, and Marquez is just one of my favorite systems, keyword systems uh, to employ. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of my favorite uh, Mar Marquez knockdowns and anatomy, the anatomy. How did he score this knockdown? Marquez is a real patient fella, right? So he starts out there with a lead hook, okay? A lead hook. That means that Manny Pacquiao has to occupy and think about a punch hitting this side of his body, on this side of his body, the left side. Okay? Understand. Now, from here, from here, understand the anatomy. What's going on? Mark is a slick man. He hus he's a hustler. So again, you have the punch on the left side of the head, right? A committed punch. He didn't care if he landed or hit the glove. A committed punch to the left side of his head. Okay, then Marquez says, okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and wait for a while. Then I'm going to hit you with this. Mm, that's, a, that's, a, that's a smooth feint off the left side. Really committing to that feint. Showing Pacquiao, I'm going to do something on what side? On this side, right? Okay. Mm, very nice. Now, Marquez is real interesting because in between what he wants to do, he's doing so many other mind-blowing things. For example, here, Pacquiao starts out with his jab. Marquez just wants to get his hand or something on that first punch to enable him to, to defend fully or at least partially defend the oncoming backhand shot, right? So you see Marquez here uses the uses that control of the jab to, to, to do it, to take a step back and create some space. When he creates some space, Pacquiao has to start from where? Really far away. You see Marquez will use both hands to try to catch Manny Pacquiao's left hand. I'm sure that's something he just adapted to after fighting the guy three times. And he's able to see that punch, defend, and look to counter, right? Now... That situation has not deterred Marquez. He is in his bag right now. Where does he go? He goes to his left hook, to what side of Pacquiao's head and Pacquiao's body, right? Now, check it out. Check the readout here. Check the readout because Marquez is reading. When, when, when he goes to use his left hand in this way because he's already, remember, he's hit Pacquiao's high guard with that punch, right? Pacquiao does what? Remember, guys, when you punch a person gloves enough, Eventually, they have no choice but to start moving around their gloves. Again, I'm going to repeat, if you punch a person's gloves enough, eventually they have no choice, human nature, but to start moving their gloves around. So Pacquiao, after feeling a heavy left hook, you know, the human senses says uh, something's happening on his side. I need to do something extra. Nothing actually hurt him, but I just, I feel like I must do something extra. So he does something extra. And that is, drop both of his hands to his sides after something being shown with Marquez being where? In this position. Mm, 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 mm. Sorry, listen, people, for dynamic striking, you guys haven't seen me film study. It is hard for me, very difficult to not get excited. This is a screenshot moment. Welcome to screenshot moments. This is a screenshot moment where we just... Take a picture of a phenomenal position. Ooh, phenomenal. Okay, calm down. Get your stuff together, Barry. Now, let's watch this thing. So here, Marquez, again, listen, he, he just dominated a position, right? He dominated a position. He got a great read. And does he go crazy? No, nah, he doesn't. He says, okay, I'm going to stick to the plan. Okay, so Marquez goes and disengages, takes a look, right? Right? Starts walking to his left. What does he show? What does he show Pacquiao? He shows Pacquiao a jab to Pacquiao's gloves. 
specifically the air around his gloves. He doesn't go full in on that jab. As you see, it's just a measurement. He wants just wants to know exactly where he's at at this moment. He acquires that and starts to hit Pacquiao with some feints and really sets his feet. It's so crazy again, again. Pa Manny, Marquez's defense didn't start. It didn't start when Pacquiao threw the punches. It started here. Watch, watch him. Small steps back with the head movement, with the feints. Look how much space he created. How did he create space? With the technique of the year, the move of the year? Was he in the matrix, as people say? No, sir. He did something very fundamental to boxing. He took small steps backward with head movement. That's a drill. You could get six, seven, eight rounds, ten rounds of drills out of this layer in the cake. First, moving backwards with no punches in the head movement. Then moving backwards with just a jab in the head movement. Then moving, you understand, layer in the cake. That's how you got to drill. Now, because he goes out there and he jabs the air one more time, he gets control of the air one more time, right? Jab almost reaches Pacquiao's head. But if you notice, he doesn't fully commit. He doesn't step in. He wants to stay long. That gives him time to what? React. You know, he's able to... He, he doesn't see the lead hand fully, so he gets touched with it. But that gives him time. He gave himself time to see which hand. The dangerous one, the backhand, he's able to slip that and live the fight another day. Just a little bit of insurance here. Marquez, just a little bit of insurance. Pacquiao goes into his bounce. He wants to put a jab on him. And Marquez says, you know what? I need my space. I cannot let this guy get so close that he could throw how many punches? Three, four, five punches, right? Because that's Pac-Man all day. Bob, Bob, you know, that's Pac-Man all day. You don't want that. So he goes ahead and goes real strong. Look at his torso. Look how low his body is. Look at the hand position. Just a signal to the opponent. You know what? Chill. I'm ready. I'm ready to work, bro. I'm ready to work. Chill out. And so Pacquiao does the right thing. He chills the fuck out for a second. Now, Marquez is always busy, as I alluded to. Like, Remember, remember what, what's the position he's acquiring? With, how's he setting it up with the left hand? And in between, he's got all these other things going on. How does he remember? All, how do you remember all of this stuff, Marquez? It's insane. So Marquez here, right? Pacquiao goes, goes, goes ahead and throw one of, his, one of his favorite punches, the lead, the lead left hand. But look how Marquez manipulated the range. He says, okay, I'm approaching the 50-50. No, I'm not. Mm, and shoots that count out there. And it's so beautiful because even though Pacquiao obviously got, got his jab hand up, it's so beautiful because it just occupies Pacquiao. It occupies Pacquiao. It gives Marquez time to settle into what he's trying to accomplish. How do we know it gave him time to settle in what he's trying to accomplish? So because, because he drew Pacquiao in here, pretended he was there, he's able to see after this combination, Pacquiao's again not able to throw what? Three, four, five, six punches, right? And that gives him time to what? Remember, high hand, high hand wins. High hand wins, people. High hand wins. And so he's able to dominate Pacquiao's lead hand early and get the hell out of the store. Which way did he go? Mm, to his left. Let's continue watching. So one more time, again, one more time. You see it for yourself. You're watching the video. Marquez needs, he wants to show Pacquiao. He wants to see how Pacquiao responds to this feint on this side. Mm. And what kind of reaction did he get out of Pacquiao? Okay, he got Pacquiao once again to drop both hands. Okay. And Marquez, again, remember, Marquez is so dangerous because here, again, you don't want Pacquiao to throw three, five, six, seven, eight punches. So look what Marquez does here. He takes some small steps back, right? Respects Pacquiao, okay? And then he is, has so much cojones because he wants to be in a pocket and he's trying to defend Pacquiao, the dangerous man with his dangerous lead hand. He's trying to defend with his right hand so he can counter punch. And he does just a tremendous job of doing what? Stopping Pacquiao from punching because he's defending or at least trying to defend. He's not going to be perfect every time. Pacquiao's first punch. Not trying to let him get to three, four, five, six, seven, eight punches, right? So now, what's the punch selection we've seen from Marcus? We've seen a counter right hand. We've seen left hook up top, okay? And now we've seen a jab to the air, okay? Now he's going to go ahead and, okay, shoot the jab, walking to the left, right? Now he's got him set up. Mm, you see it? 
He's got him set up here. Faint. See how Pacquiao responds? How does Pacquiao respond? Both hands. Not, not one hand, but both hands. That's actually a screenshot moment, people. Let's get it. That's a screenshot moment. That's excellent manipulation by Juan Manuel Marquez. Again, so you look at his punch selection. He's Notice he's not even right hand happy. He's just happy to counter punch with it. He's left hand happy, right? Just making, making Pacquiao forget about the right hand. Mm, one more time. You see him lean over there and get there. Lean over there, lean over there and get there. Mmm, very nice. And you know, how Marquez defends these right, these straight left hands while Pacquiao with his gloves is just sheer amazing. So obviously the jab touches a uh, uh, Marquez there, but how he defends, how he defends, and obviously he he gets hit with it, but how he even has the presence of mind to get his right hand up and kind of smother that punch. And then look at his lead hand after the punch lands. Stopping Marquez from throwing two, three, I'm sorry, three, four, five, six, seven, eight punches, right? Look, again, you guys are seeing it, right? Marquez has not been able, I mean, Pacquiao has not been able to get off the amount of punches Pacquiao would like to get off because of all these beautiful things Marquez is doing. Mm, check out Marquez acquired a position he wants. So small, manip small hand manipulation here, okay? Mm, control that hand. Mm, real low, low... Uh, Steps around to the side. Very nice. Let me watch. Let's watch that again. This is so quick and so nice. Mm, then throws a jab on top of him. Jab again. Oh my goodness, people! I get to. I, why? Why can't I compose myself? Watch the jab. Now he's. Now he's. Look. Now he's in mathematics mode. Now it's the jab with the. So he done. He's lead hook you upstairs. Okay. He's jabbed the air. He's fainted you. Now he's putting a jab and a feint together. Uh, this is big problems now, right? Big problems. Mm. Still with the defense, right? Now, checkmate, right? Checkmate. Listen, people, checkmate from here. So watch how Marquez sets this knockdown up. So now Marquez is going to feint Pacquiao hard here. You see where Pacquiao's hands are at, right? You see where Pacquiao. Now, if, I, if we're reading on film, look at Marquez reading in real time. Look at those eyes. That's beautiful. Okay? Same thing. Now, Marquez, he does something so beautiful here. And it's so, like, when I started to coach, like, these principles, oh, it's just so lovely. Okay, so now Marquez is going to sit down on the body shot. He's going to throw it hard. He's going to commit to it, right? Why, does, why is that so important here? Whether he lands it or doesn't land He's got you thinking about the left hook upstairs, the jab coming this way, and now a hard left hand to the body. It's a lot to defend, right? That creates a comfortable environment on what side of Pacquiao's body. Okay, now let's watch. So it's a hard left hook, right? Those are one-two up top. Yo, Marquez is such a hustler. It's just a full one-two. A full one-two. Look, nothing, nothing, no pop on. It's just here. This is like a nice little occupation, right? Now, jab on which side? Okay, back to the body. Okay. Faint jab up top, right? Control the air. Check meet. Mmm, beautiful. So now he's done, he's done, he's done made all those positioning moves over the course of this round. And so now he's going to step in. Show, show Pacquiao jab on top of the comfortable environment, right? He showed him so many things on the left side of his body. Pacquiao goes to do what he's been doing the whole time. And Marquez now completely uh, says, you know, it's like football. It's audible. You know, we were running this I formation, right, right, right. And then you run an I formation with some, some type of pass action. I don't know. I'm not a football guy, but you guys get the point. Audibles, audibles. He runs an audible right here. Okay, and it's a beautiful audible. It's the anatomy of a knockdown. Remember, guys, knockout, knockdowns, knockouts happen way before they happen. A million styles boxing. Barry Robinson for a dynamic strike, and I'm out of here. Peace.